right? We are recording. All right. Okay. We're recording because we can't go. Uh, our Facebook is not being our friend today. We can't go live for you guys, but we're still doing it anyway. And we uh, have our second special guest on for the week. And today we are joined by Jessica Hillier, who is a makeup artist. And she specializes in women over 40, which is fantastic because um, women over 40 don't have the same skin as the 20 year olds that you see most of the makeup artists and um, the, all the beautiful pictures that we see is on usually on their skin. So this is brilliant. And we've got lots of questions. And Jessica is going to do a little makeup um, demo for us. And we'll just ask you some questions and chit chat along the way. So Jessica, I'll get you to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do and, and why you do it. Okay. Thank you, Andrea, for the introduction. Um, <laughs> hi, my name is Jessica. Everyone calls me Jess, so that's why my business name is from Jess to you. Okay. And, um, so I, a little bit about me, I've been in the industry for uh, probably over 15 years now. And I started in my early um, 30s. <laughs> Um, so that's why it makes me, I think, a little bit different because um, I've seen the changes in my skin, uh, my features, and um, so how I had to um, basically adjust you know, some techniques or some uh, product as well, or the way that I was wearing makeup. Um, all it started um, when always I was doing, um, you know, the mom of the brides or the more mature skin and they were oh wow that looks so natural you know i'm still me oh i wish that um you you know you can do my makeup every day or oh you know i do my money it doesn't work or even with my friends so uh, um that's how it started or like um you know why not then educate women over 40 because definitely we have different challenges and um and we are all different so um now i provide um lessons as well one-on-one -on -one or small groups. Um, I provide it online as well now because of the, all this um, new situation. And um, so, yeah, so hopefully this, um, today you're gonna learn a little bit more, um, you know, how you can apply your makeup. It's gonna be something very basic, but I, I hope that it can help you. So yeah. let's get started. <laughs> oh. So one of the things that you always want to do before you do your makeup is make sure that you have applied your skincare. Okay, whatever you use, and remember um, the our skin changes as well. So we need to um, adjust as well our skincare. Maybe add some serums or some face mask. Mask. Uh, we need more hydration on our skin. Okay. So when that is done, um, I, I, there was a question about foundation. Foundation. Um, Foundation usually has more coverage. So something that we can apply that it's gonna be more gentle for our skin, more lightweighted, not too heavy. So it doesn't look like, you know, you have something very thick on your face is, um, can be a CC cream or tinted moisturizer, for example, or a BB cream. I'm a big fan of the CC cream because it helps you with uh, um, hydration, has um, sunscreen, um, and as well, it comes in shade. So it's very easy to find exactly your right um, skin tone. And the most important for me is that it helps with any blemishes as well. Contra rest is not going to hide completely, but it's going to help um, in your skin with any blemishes that you have. So I'm going to apply now, okay? So, um, and when it comes in shade, actually it's very easy to, it's easier, I will say, to find your skin tone because Either all you are one exact color, like light, medium, uh, or dark, you know, I don't know, depending on the brand that you buy, uh, or either all you, maybe you just need to mix two of them to get the right color, okay? Mm -hmm. But that's it. You, for foundations, sometimes you have such a wide range that you don't know what to get. Yeah. Okay? And another tip as well that I always say my client is that um, if you go for, to apply for a, um, you know, buy a foundation for a special occasion or something, get a sample. Get a sample, they'll test it first, whatever you go, and then don't buy it, just go out. Because the light that you see on the store is completely different from the daylight. So you want to make sure that you exactly in every um, light that you see or during the day, and as well, how it's going uh, during the day, how it's going to uh, hold the foundation. If it's going to crack, or it's going, going to on your lines and everything. 
okay? So I'm just applying with my fingers. And uh, the good thing, uh, because it's lightweighted, any BB cream or CC cream, you can basically easily, you can spread it. So you see it's very What's light. What's the difference between a BB cream and a CC cream? I've never heard of a CC oh. cream. Uh, the BB cream is for, um, it's called like more for the balm. So uh, it has a little bit less coverage. So it's light moisturizer, I'm um, sorry, tinted moisturizer, BB cream, right. CC cream, and then it will be your foundation. Um, ingredient wise or the benefit of it is very similar bb cream to cc cream but for over 40s um, the cc cream um, works better with um, uneven skin or if you have very you know still um some sun sunspot or, or redness that in my case i have a very mild uh, rosacea so sometimes it exasperates so that it really calms uh, my skin uh, and so would that CC cream give you enough coverage? Very light coverage. For day to day, it's perfect. Oh, for day to day, yes. So I apply it and I always like it with a brush just to spread it. Um, if you don't have a brush, you know, I say don't, don't worry. Yeah. I do like with a brush because um, it gets more in my, um, like in my pores. Okay. And I can go like really around the nose, um, a little bit that, and then it's easy, easier for me to spread it down. You want to spread it down so kind of you lose the color, you know, along your neck, so it doesn't, you know, you cannot really see where it, it disappears or it cut, and that's it. So the other things that you use, those um, sponge things, what are they called again? Yeah, the sponge. So the sp you can use a sponge, but a sponge, it's, um, when you use a foundation or something more, uh, a product is more thicker or more um, more coverage, okay? The sponge will help you to take a little bit of that and as well, um, as well, um, if you have lines, you know, to even up, to blend it, that's what they call it, to blend it nicely on your skin. The only thing with the sponge is that you need to make sure that you always clean it. So always wash it take all the humidity and let it there because otherwise it's going to get uh, all moldy in just a few days. So it's, um, it works, but you need to, you know, uh, maintain or keep it, you know, clean. Otherwise you're going to be buying them every week, but you know, I don't use it for my day to day and that's it. So I don't know if you can see a little bit my skin. Sorry, the lighting is not the best today here, but it's very light, you can still see through, but it gives you a very nice um, light coverage. Okay. Um, now for, um, I think it was a question as well regarding um, concealer. So the, the, for when we age, the trick is that less is more. So I always said less because you need to, it's less amount and light, more lighted formula, but it has more coverage that it works for us. Because imagine you, we already have very fine lines around here or sometimes here, okay? So if you put a product that is heavy, mm. it's gonna go between your lines. It's very hard then to, you know, you're gonna be all the time like doing like that, so to make it flat again. Yeah. But if it's very light, then you're not going to have, um, you know, like that, that problem as well. Um, something that I suggest as well is to an adjustment that you can do is that um, avoid when it's too, uh, too much powder. I know that, um, you know, it's, it seems easier when you have, you know, something like a mineral like that. This is different, but like a mineral that you just press it and just rub it like that. But actually, you need to think that your skin is losing hydration as, um, as you age. So, and the powder will, you know, take that moisture as well from your face, the hydration. So it's going to look um, dry, okay? So what you want to do is to have product that actually gives you more hydration in your skin, which is going to be a different formula. Okay. okay, more like creamy formula. Yeah. So, um, and as well, we start getting like baby hair a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, some, you can, there are people who remove it, women who remove it, that's fine. Uh, but sometimes they don't. So with the powder, it's more notorious that it's gold, you know? Yeah. Um, 
Okay, so let's go with the concealer. With the concealer, um, it's a cream one, okay? There are on tube, whatever. Um, just uh, same again. Don't use very heavy, very heavy. Just a very light and, um, and just a small quantity and only when you need. So for example, today, I can see that I have, um, you know, like a little bit tight um, here. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to apply with my finger, ring finger, so it's less pressure. And I'm just going to tap. I just start in here because that's where the most discoloration I have. And then with the rest, I just kind of spread it nicely. Kind of want to disappear. I don't go too high. And here as well, this point, sometimes we forget, but here we get the discoloration as well. And here in the corner. Mm. And that's all I do. And I grab it down so I get it lost. Why with my finger? Because when it comes uh, a bit creamy like that, I want like kind of warm it up the product as well. So it comes a bit lighter with uh, my own, um, you know, my own heat. So I do yeah. the same on the other side and that's it. Now this is a concealer, okay? If you have other challenges like very, a lot of discoloration, like like very um, dark here, or yeah. very but like very blue, that is really um, a strong color. Then um, you will a corrector will not really do the job. So maybe you need um, sorry concealer will not probably do the job, um, but a corrector that contrasts the color will do it. Mm. But for their today, that's it. If you don't have a brush, don't use the brush. I just, you know, to press it, but that's it. So, okay. yeah, and that's all I do. So okay. it's just where you need it, a small quantity. It's better if you start with um, just a little bit. If you need more, then you add it, that put it a lot of product, and then you will have to remove it because that's when it's going to start sinking in on your fine lines. Okay, and very gentle because it's, it's so, thing it becomes okay that you just want to work it very gentle because the more you stretch out your skin it's going to take longer to get back to where it was okay okay so have as our liquid versus um powder question then so preferably liquid over powder yeah Yes, that, that's some of the, that's some of the switch that you always recommend so um when we age our skin tries to get more on the drier side dry side so um yeah kind of introduce different formulation different um you know products there are always some brands that are going to work more better for you than the others um you know there is no one brand that is yeah for everyone but it's a matter that um yeah you just so what about uh, um another question was um mineral mineral makeup over is there much of a difference between the mineral makeup and just a normal, say, Revlon foundation? Yeah. Um, the, the, with the mineral makeup, now um, the, the formulation are becoming like improving, like better. So um, it can be a good, a, a good option. Um, sometimes the powder, the pow when, they, when they sell powder, it comes, they have this like talk or talk, talk, no? Talk, which is one of the ingredients and the talk tends to dry not really um, the skin not really you know blended nice with the skin so it, it looks like you are have some, something here just on top yeah. with the, but with the mineral um, yes you will apply it with a brush then I will prefer with a brush rather than with a sponge because with the sponge you are kind of um, you know pulling or arrastrando you know, yeah. dragging, dragging the probe from one side to another side, but with a sponge and with a sponge, with um, a brush, very gently, you can build it up. But if, yeah, but yeah, it's a good, it's 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 a good option. Okay. Yeah, it's a good option. Is um, the same as the beauty blender? Is that what you're talking about? Sorry. The the is the is the sponge that you're talking ah. about. Is that the same thing as a beauty blender? It is. It is the beauty blender. Oh, yeah. Beauty, okay. Yeah, it is the beauty blender. I don't have it one here to show you. No, sorry. I don't have it one here to show you. But yes, it is a beauty blender. And to be honest, uh, 
I use Beauty Blender when I have to do more like a glam makeup for a, um, you know, a, a lady because any excess of the product I can take it up and um, as well um, um, to blend it better with the skin, no? But with a light tint moisturizer or CC cream, you're not going to need it because it's so light the, okay. the formulation that with your finger and just with a brush, you are ready to go. Okay. Okay. Um, now, so that's what I, all I do. Okay. I don't put any powder right now on my face. Okay. So I'm going to just carry on with the, let's carry on with the blush. So with the blush powder, uh, there are creams as well. I'm a very, very big fan of, of creams, uh, especially if you have um, very dry skin because it's going to give you that nice, um, glow it and hydration and it's not going to look dry. No, when I use powder because I think that the majority has powder, okay, and just with a brush, just tap it up, okay, and same, just start with a little bit and then you can build up the color, okay. So the way that I put it is um, I don't go straight here and blend it up, okay, you just have to be gentle. So just think that you just like slightly yeah and kind of you know i'm dragging it up so yeah. i want to have this lift rather than dragging it down okay just like that so here here okay so i don't know if you can see a little bit of color i'm gonna put more so you can really see on the camera and uh, the blush is something that as i always said look um you can go light, you can go a little bit stronger. It's always depend how you like it because at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, um, you know, you have the steps and, uh, but you are the one who, you know, if you like really um, stand up your cheek or, 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 or not, no? Um, I do like my blush, not really strong. And I do like my blush, but I make sure that it's not really only on the apple of the cheek, but it's yeah. just go like it kind of disappear. Okay. Oh, nice. And I kind of look at just with the leftover, just a little bit on my nose. Why? Because to me, it's like when you get the sun, it hits you as well on the bridge of the nose and everything. So I'm not adding brush and put it there with the leftovers and just slightly put it here. So I have this, you know, more yeah. even. So that's the only thing with blush. Um, if you have um, um, bronzer, mm -hmm. okay, or sometimes they call it uh, a contour, but it's just like a, it's a plain brown. Um, it's not an eyeshadow. Some of shadow you can use it, but it's a plain brown and doesn't have any shimmery, um, anything. Okay, so, but it gives you a nice warmth on the skin. So this is one of the example. I just, um, you know, grab any brush. Did I, that was the same brush that I, oh no, different, okay. Yeah, and I just hit on the side, hit on the side, okay. Not too low, it's just like kind of, you know, between the ear and the um, mouth here, just yeah. underneath the blush, just here, just to give me a little bit of, um, um, more structure on my face and warmth, as I said. But, you know, you just need to be careful with which brand you buy because some of them are stronger or are more pigmented than other. So if they are very pigmented, you don't want to go straight down because you're going to end up with a brown patch, okay? Yeah. But when they are not, then you just can go and warm it up. So you're going to, I don't know if you can see here, but um, it's just like I have a small... Um, yeah pan here but it gives warmth to my face and um, any skin tone for any skin tone and, and um i thought you put bronzer on first and then put the blush on no the important it's either all the importance is that uh you know where to put it okay uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, you know where to put it as well and uh, that it blends now so um what you don't want is to have blush here and brown that it kind of you know you can see where it 
yeah. there is the cut. So that's why I go like that. And kind of I'm going overlapping of the of the blush, so it gets um, you know loose, lost, gets lost. Yeah. So um, so if I turn, I can see that I have you know like cheeks if you want a little yeah. bone structure, but it's um, you know all it's not harsh. No. no. Um, okay, eyes. So for the eyes. Um, so everyone has, everyone age differently, okay? Um, but one of the common things that we need to think is that we have um, the eyelid start becoming like, you know, droopy eyelid or you have extra skin that sometimes it can be folded up to here. <laughs> yeah. I'm a good example because that's where I age. <laughs> Um, you know, for the here, sometimes you have a screen and everything. And also, it's very stretchy, so it's very delicate here, okay? So you need to be careful where, where you put the product and how you put it, okay? So, eye primer. I'm using an eye primer. And why I'm using an eye primer? I know that sometimes um, for, for women, they can work that they use the same uh, foundation or the same concealer to put it on the on the lid mm -hmm. and and then they put the eyeshadow uh personally for me it doesn't work because the formulation is quite different so um during the day if i don't put an eye primer i can see that the eyeshadow is creasing Creasing means that it's going into the line. So when I look down, I can see that everything is like prook, all the colors in one on my wrinkle, if you want to say. Okay, so you choose an, any any ordinary primer, or are you using a specific eye primer? It's an eye primer, it's specifically for the eyes, and uh, oof, you know any brand um, does it. I quite like um, the that one is kind of liquidy. Um, it's not like pasty. I have another one. That's more like, you know, it's, it's more like a pasty. So if I use my finger, that one, I kind of need to pull it, to pull my eyelid a little bit more. When it's liquid, I just, you know, gently do it and then we'll spread it. Um, but the eye primer actually um, is going to allow your eyeshadow to really show the color that eyeshadow is to pop up more and as well it's going to avoid that the um, eyeshadow is going to go into your lines mm -hmm. and as well if you have so it's a great canvas before the eyeshadow but as well what i like it is that um when as we age we start having those um, ray, red or bluish veins uh, veins um, here as well some discoloration so with uh, eye primer if you see it's gonna look like it's gonna look like i have an eyeshadow Mm -hmm. Okay, but actually it's just the eye primer. So it's going to give me the nice um, uniform um, color, okay? Um, there are ladies who can use the eye primer and it looks like, wow, already her eyes, you know, open up. Yeah. In my case, because my eye shape and my eyes, I can't to pop out. Um, I don't like it too much on me. So I always put eyeshadow. I don't leave it just alone. I put eyeshadow, mm -hmm. okay? So, so far so good? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Eyeshadow. Now, I'm going to use, I'm pretty sure that everyone has a brown palette because brown eyeshadow, it's like the most common color and as well uh, is suitable for any um, eye color. Okay. So, for the eyeshadow, where is my brush? Okay. So, for the eyeshadow, I'm going to start putting, um, I'm only going to use one color, okay? Because it's more about the technique rather than the, um, you know, how many I shadow, how many colors, but the technique, okay? Um, brown, I'm gonna use this brown, actually I should use, yeah, I use this brown, okay? Like a medium, medium brown. So I use it in a flat, um, brush. I call it flat because usually it's like thinner, but you know, flat is easier to put the product. So what I want to do is just tap. I just remove the excess, and I'm going to just. I'm just going to put the product. So if you see, I'm not like rubbing. I'm just pressing. 
pressing, 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 because with the eye primer, by pressing is going to take the pigment of the eyeshadow. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I just press it the closer as I go, and then I just go up. Okay, for me, I'm going to stop just right there, okay? So the importance is when you look at the mirror, you don't want the color to go down mm. because it's going to drag your eyes down, okay? And um, as well, you want to go, when you look, you know, when I look like that, I can see my color just on the bone here, yeah. okay, on the crease. But when I open, because I have this, skin covering you cannot really see that much the color okay so if you don't have brushes i will say you can do that with your finger maybe it's not going to be exactly the same but you can do that with your finger to just drag the product a little bit up you know higher so when i do that i can see the color going over my bone so actually it kind of hide that, um, you know, heaviness of the eyelid. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit more with the brush. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I never put on eye makeup because I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I only ever put on mascara because I don't know how to put on eyeshadow. But, yeah, so um, for if you have a really, uh, for clients who are, you know, have really a, a challenge here on the eyelid, okay? Because um, you can, I mean, you can lift it with your finger. Even you, sometimes you need to lift it from here because, you know, you have a lot of extra skin, okay? So it's a matter that you uh, prepare the area to work mm -hmm. rather than just put in here. Yeah. And then um, it really doesn't, there's no working. So there is, there is, um, you know, no, no issue that if you need to live here, then you leave so you can see where you put the color and your eyelid. And then you, when you open, you see, okay, yeah, perfect. So maybe I need, I cannot see, I need just a little bit here and you can mark it. And then you just, the, the, the terminology blending is just to smooth the color, to avoid that harsh line, to avoid that cut of color and then white. Yeah. That's it. Okay, and I'm pulling the color up. That's it. So I don't know if you can see the difference. I can go, let's go if I go a little bit darker so you can see. Uh, go, just go with a nice shadow a bit darker so you can see. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. So the importance here is that you need to be careful where to stop. That's it. Yeah. If you make a mistake here that you go too low, then you just clean it. You just, as simple as that, okay? Don't, don't use your finger and rub it. You just can use a cotton tip, put a little bit of moisturizer, and then here, you just gently clean it. That's it. And you're off to go. Oh, awesome. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to do the... But as I said, that's why um, I said, uh, I mean, everyone is you know, different. Um, and as which we have, you know, different challenges. So it can be the eyes. Sometimes, um, you know, we have this, a lot of lines here, or it can be the lips, the eyebrow. So it's just a matter to, with the makeup, adjust your technique and your product and where you put it, okay. The darker color one is looking darker than the other because I use the other brown, right? Yeah, that's even up here. Perfect. Okay, so that's and that's only with one eyeshadow. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not putting a different eyeshadow here or here. I'm just it's just one eyeshadow. Yeah, okay, it's just that I concentrate more the color here and then I pull it up. Okay, that's my eyes. Perfect. That's it. Okay, so um, let's move on to the, and eyeshadow now you have options of cream up shadow and you have some like I mean, pencil, so it's very easy to use. I don't have those ones yet, I want to buy it um, to try them on, but I'm 
trying to um, so but you know it's basically it comes in a thicker and then you drop it up and then with the finger you just drop uh, you know rub it um, eyeshadow stick eyeshadow what they call it um, but could be an option as well if you know um, you find that it's too messy for you here um, because of the powder you can go for cream as easy okay um all right so let's carry on i'm not going to touch anything underneath yet i just want to do the eyebrow so for the eyebrow when we age what is the issue that we face one is that um they become white the other one is that they start to fall in so we can see um they become um, you know like spaces okay yeah. it's not filled up as before and as well as of course is because um you know before we had here but now it's it's going down okay just the aging but uh when it goes down uh sometimes one side goes lower than the other that's because you know so it can be an even um eyebrow as well so um with the eyebrow an other an option now is um, you know you have like a tiny mascara mm -hmm. with uh, which is tinted, so this is great for very natural, you know, eyebrow looking, and as well it's a uh, it will tint your um, white hair, and it gives you that thickness as well. So let's do that, that this um, today. So I just brush. I'm just brushing basically the um, the hair. Okay, I can give us the hair. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, very gently, and I try to only touch the hair. So that's it. Hmm. If you have um, um, tattoo, tattoo, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, powder is not going to work and um, these things um, as well is not going to work. So the only formulation that it can work, it will be those creamy ones. I don't know if I have one here. Why is that? Uh, it's, go it's not going to grab the color when you have, um, you, you know, when you have a um, tattoo or that, bla um, you know, bla blading, mm -hmm. starting to change the color to a, reddish sometimes okay so the powder is not gonna um, really um, go over that color so you need uh, like a formulation which more like creamy or gel so it's a different it's for the eyebrow as well but it's a different uh, product which i have it here but i don't have it counts no sorry that that one that you just used would that work with tattooed eyebrows no if you have hair, if you have hair, yeah. yeah. But if you don't, then no. No. And if you want, if you don't have hair, but okay. if you want to, I say smooth, yes. smooth the the you know the shape or a little bit more arch, then you will need to use like a um, like a gel, more like a creamy product that w which you will apply then with the, the brush like that, you know, okay. and then like that, yeah. But you know the other, um, the one that I use as well a lot, and that is easier for. Uh, that I recommend my clients as well. In the classes, is the pen. It's just a pencil. Or the crayon, as they call it, no. Right. Because um, what you do is, I show you. Okay. No good at doing it. <laughs> so. It's because when you see the videos, okay, when you see YouTubes or, uh, you know, other 20 years old doing it, they do it like a drawing. Mm. So it's become the arch and everything is, is, is a bit harsh probably, you know. Uh, and, but that was the trend or that is the trend to have, you know. Mm. But for... Um, but you want to have everything balanced. So you, if you're doing a very nice, soft, um, you know, eyes, your foundation is soft, your blush as well, everything's soft. So you don't want to have those, you know, wow. really harsh um, eyebrow. Mm. So uh, if you have a pen, that's a, a, that's a great option as well. What you want to do is always brush your 
here, you know, up. So you see where you need to fill in. And it's just a matter that if when you fill in just by stroke, okay, you will see. I mean, you're not going to see here, I mean, the, the difference too much, but you will see the, the difference. Because then what you can do is like, if you want more uh, thickness, which sometimes I do on my eyebrow, um, when I, with more um, glam makeup on myself, I want a little bit thicker. So that, yeah, with the pencil, it's a good option because you just, I just can draw it on top. So I start forming my eyebrow. But that's only if you want, thickness okay let's do something simple just you can fill up the gaps that you have and just by a stroke don't rub it okay mm -hmm. so you just mimic the hair okay okay and eyebrow okay so mascara so i already um where's my mascara i already curl my lashes okay if you need to if they're straight, I will suggest always curl it because it will open up your eyes. It will give you, um, you know, when you put the mascara, it will give you a, like a lift on, on, on your eyes. Okay. And, um, but I want to put some mascara. Where is my mascara? Oh, here. Okay. Yeah, found it. Okay. For the mascara, even if you have, uh, you know, not many lashes, uh, I, will I will suggest to put the, the mascara. It will give you a nice uh, touch. In my case as well, I have very small lashes. So I just kind of swirl and up, you know, zig and up, zig and up, because that movement is gonna give me, is gonna allow the pro to go between the lashes. So it's gonna give thickness to my lashes, okay? And then mascara as well is one of the pro that you wear it how you like it. So if you like one coat, just go one coat. If you like then more, you know, a um, little bit more um, thicker and longer, then you can do two coats. In my case, I just like one coat. Why? Because I don't have too many lashes. I don't have uh, as well two longer lashes. So by with one coat, to me is enough to give them a little bit more um, lift on my eye look without being like um, too much. When you put, sometimes it looks like too like spidery, like yeah. spiders, you know, I don't know how to explain, but you know, with one, um, look, I think that is, it's okay. All right. And I like it. So you remember just zigzag and then up, zigzag and up. So you have the problem between the lashes and then as well, you give the length to your, um, to your lashes. You don't do okay. your lashes. Sorry? You don't do your bottom lashes. Um, with the bottom lashes, um, for day to day, sometimes not. Um, and uh, the reason, it's, it's as well depend on taste, no? But for me, the reason is that if you have um, one, if you have too dark, um, you know, here, this coloration, by putting the lash uh, here down, sometimes depending on the light, it gives you like a, sh uh, like a sh uh, shade here. Yeah. So it can, actually it can look like you have more yeah. darkness here rather than the, 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 the what you have, no? Yeah. Uh, also, um, sometimes you have very, very um, short lashes and at the bottom and very, uh, and not many. So you are more prone at maybe uh, making a, you know, a mess here down rather than, so it's not going to benefit you. It's going to, you know, they work on you, uh, against you. Yeah. And, um, and if you put too much, to me it's like you have like a dull look. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, but I, 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 as I mean, um, you know, makeup is creativity. So as well as what you like. Okay. So, um, but yeah. And I use, and I quite look, use uh, non-waterproof for every day. So um, with no water, for, if you sweat or you perspire too much, the bottom lines is, you know, can transfer, but you don't want, you don't want that. Oh, that's a good thing as well. You know, the eye primer that I use, yeah. um, that will avoid when you have an eye primer on your eyes, that will avoid that the 
uh, mascara transfer to your eyelid. Right. Sometimes the ladies have, you know, one big, uh, one big or one uh, eyelid really droopy, okay, or monolid, what they call it. So one of the things to um, could avoid to transfer is to put eye primer because the as we age we um segregate more or we produce more oiliness on the eyelid as well mm -hmm. so the eye prime is going to counterrest uh, that yes. okay, okay. Um, under, okay anything under your eyes at all i'm going to put something okay. <laughs> yes i'm going to put something and i'm going to do the way that is very easy for maybe for you so If you have, what is my, okay, yeah. So if you have a brush, okay, a th that's the one? Yes, a thin brush, you just, I just grabbed the same, I'm oh, sorry, the same color. Yes, yeah. And I just can do like a liner here. I like to do like a liner here. It's like a, I'm touching the, I'm, I'm touching the, um, my lashes, but yeah. going more like down a little bit and the good thing that if you do it with eyeshadow is that it doesn't give you that harsh lines that you do with a pencil. Mm. Yeah. And I mean, if you've got you, dark, kind of dark circle under your eye, would you then not do that? Sorry? If you've got dark circles under your eye, would you not do that? Uh, no, actually I will do because, you know, it, as I said, it's the paint. Um, so if you see, I'm not rubbing hard. I'm just going to give a, a, a small um, line, but it gives you like a frame of your eyes as well, okay? So if you have dark here or too blue, actually, it will give you, if we uh, define more your eyes just here, okay? Mm. So, so I just gonna list in some brushes. But as I said, I mean, that I'm, I'm applying at the moment, um, you know, mm -hmm. how it suits me. Yeah. But everyone has different eyes. Okay. Yeah. So um, I'm doing it in a way that I want my eyes to just yeah. longer a little bit because, um, you know, but if you have close set eyes or, or separate eyes, then probably you can use or, or put it in a different, different way, you know? Um, okay, so I, that's one. The other one is that I know that a lot of lady has like a, you know, pencil, like a brown pencil. So you kind of do the, yeah, okay. So you can do the same. Doesn't need to be a straight, you know, can be like a, and you do like a stroke, like a little stroke between your lashes and, um, you know, even if it's messy, doesn't really matter why, because then you can grab your finger and you can just mm -hmm. smudge it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So if you have a pencil, that's something that you could do as well. You see, it's very subtle. Yeah. So, okay. That's because I want a, a natural look. Okay. And you can, yeah. So kind of, it, it gives me the same effect Hmm. but uh, it's two different product. But yeah. the pencil always has more pigmentation, or well, no more pigmentation, but um, I will say the eyeshadow always has, um, uh, is easier to, to blend. Yeah. So I'm gonna put just here a bit darker because so it looks even with the other, yeah. And if you use the pencil, then you can use the eyeshadow. So it's not because you only use the pencil, then you can't. So you can use it. So the pencil can give you more uh, definition on your eyes. And then if you want more open, then you just, you know, smudge it a little bit underneath. So it will give you um, bigger eyes um, if, if you want. But uh, this is just a matter to practice and to play. Mm. Okay. But very simple, very simple. Um, yeah. And then, um, so for the lips, for the lips, something on the go, you can use a lipstick and just put it, not a problem. Um, you can, oh, if you have um, oh, as well lip uh, pencil, no, it's really good, especially if you um, have like fine lines or uneven uh, lips or, um, you know, very thin lips and you want to 
make them fuller, look fuller a little bit. So lip liner, it's a very, very good option. I'm trying to find mine, which I have it here. Let's try. Okay, so this color, I'm gonna use a, probably a bit stronger color. Yeah, let's use this one so you can really see. So I'm gonna use a lip liner and the lip liner as well. Um, sometimes this lip liner, the thing that is only the, you know, to do the line, but actually you can use the whole lip. Okay. It's gonna be matte, but that's fine. You can use it on the whole lip. Okay. And so I started just at the bottom. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. And now you're filling it in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm filling it in. And then I'm going up. So when you go um, up, either all you can go from the Cupid bow and then down or either all from here to here. Okay. But whatever you start, just do the other side the same. What I mean is that if on that side I'm going from here through here, you only want to do the same from here to here. So you have more, um, so um, even, even up, yeah. Okay. So. You've got a very nice Cupid's bow. <laughs> yes, and in my case, sometimes I kind of try to, to flatten or to round it a little bit. Okay. You know? So, but I'm uh, working first. So, yeah, so uh, that's my lip, okay? So if you have thin lip, then you can start, always look straight and you always relax first. So then you start drawing. So you can see where you, you know, have to feel or when you have to, um, you know, feel or just you have to draw a little bit more so it's um, even, okay? But look, the more you practice, the more you will know your lips. So um, otherwise, a good option, as I said, if you have, um, you know, fuller lips, then just go for a lipstick it's, and off you go. Mm -hmm. You can do both, no? Because lip liner is it's, um, very... Um, kind of on the mat, on the mat side, okay? But, which uh, I really don't mind, but then you can use a lip gloss or a lipstick and, and, you know, and put it on top. So then my lipstick, my uh, lips come a little bit more, um, you know, um, glossier. Yeah. Mm. That looks okay. nice. So if you make a, I don't know, if you make a, you know, you see that it goes too low or too high, then with um, your foundation or your CC cream or your concealer, then with a very, you know, very careful with a brush or with a um, cotton tip, you just can, you know, um, yeah, remove it. And that's it. That looks beautiful. That looks lovely. Yeah, the light, I don't know if it's the best, but you know, that's yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I guess that anyway you can see a difference. And I just said, it's just the way that you apply it. So don't go too harsh, okay? It's better if you go uh, very gentle and you build up the color, okay? So it's just how you touch it. So the brush touch the skin. It's not like you just press it, you just touch. If you press it, you're going to end up with a patch you know, anyway, so just press it and you just drag, drag, drag and build it up. So it kind of um, blend it better with, you, with your skin. Yes? Oh, how long oh. do you think it, like, if, if we were putting out, because obviously I've got my makeup on, it takes about one minute because I'm not doing it right. So <laughs> how long would you say that, that we should be really spending on doing that, that makeup that you just um, demonstrated for us? This, this, which is almost, I do it like, you know, often, and uh, this look now, probably, you know, even 10 minutes right. or less, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm ready. Yes, because I know my, my, my shade, you know, I know where to yeah. my eyes, so I, I know how, you know, so, but I say it's, 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 it's just practice. And, um, but yeah, just practice will give you confidence. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
yeah. and then when you've got all that makeup, you're, you're, you're feel awesome in yourself as well, and you'll feel attractive and ready to go out into the world too. Yes, that, that's what I like. I mean, um, I, I know that sometimes women think that it's a bit um, superficial or, or, or makeup is, you know, to think a little bit too much. But to me, and, and, and because I've seen the woman, it's a, it's a boost confidence as well, no? Because it, it's actually the makeup, the makeup that I've done now is actually me. I'm not changing myself. I'm yeah. just bringing up my, my feature, but just in a base way. I'm enhancing myself, okay? Mm. So, and that's what... I believe that the makeup as well um, should be about it for, you know, so um, it's not to hide anything. I'm not hiding, you know, anything. I'm just, you know, um, like trying to, um... <laughs> <laughs> So after going back to, after when you've popped the, um, your BB cream on or your foundation on, um, what if you have like, um, some imperfections so you've got like sunspots or you've got anything that you need to like that needs a bit more coverage up do you then go on with concealer afterwards and dab it on and blend it in or what what do you do there yeah so if you have um like i said very dark sunspot and some you know um what you do it before your um um, with your concealer, no, then you can go just on top and for you with your finger, you just can go on top, on top, on top. Yes. Um, to be honest, I, I, I like to do it just um, yeah, before the foundation, if you have, or before the CC cream. Yes, you can do, you know, if you do it, the, if you put the concealer before everything and then you CC cream or you do the other way around, it's not gonna really um, change the result. Okay. Um, it's not gonna really change the result. Yes. So if you concern about some spot or some redness that you have in your nose, then your concealer will do that. So just put you're just here. Sometimes you have you become here as well on the edge of the lips, very red. So then put concealer here, and then you just just go gently. The only thing is that then if you go with the CC cream after your concealer, uh, make sure that you don't rub it everything mm -hmm. okay so when you have put it you just maybe uh, and that when maybe a brush comes handy because you just can press it just like that and mm -hmm. then you just um you know um carry on okay. but um but yeah you know sometimes when my um rosacea or my red marks are more pronounced for whatever reason um i just put the um, CC cream and just very gently then on top yes I just can adjust a little bit of color or um, even with I go two layers of CC cream instead of one I just go when I need the most I just go on top and um, you know on those areas okay yeah well, so you need to see what you what work for for you no because as I said um, um, women um, sometimes have more pronounced discoloration so maybe they will need something a bit stronger than the CC cream or than a concealer. Then maybe they will need a corrector. So it's case by, by case. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And so if woman, if there's any woman out there, we'll put your details um, underneath our, underneath this post anyway. But if there's any woman out there who do have um, like different kind of skin or eyes close together or eyes further apart or anything like that and they want some tips, they can contact you and you can do like a, tutorial for them specifically yes 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 that's um um what i call the personalized um you know makeup makeup lesson because it's really tailored to um your needs and to feature because everyone is has their own unique uh, beauty no and yeah. i work before the class to really know you bare, bare face and then so during the class i know um and you tell me your issues and then during the class uh, you know we cover that and then I provide you uh, after the class all the well, basically what we a summary, no? Or yeah. what you yeah. to stop or yeah. change or yeah. Or add. Well, thank you so much. See, have you got another question, Sarah? I was going to ask if you've got a website or somewhere where people can, even if I put it in the link, just is there somewhere where people can reach you if they want to now? Yes, yes, it's um, the same um, from justtoyou.com. 
Yes, okay. it's the same on Instagram, Facebook. Um, all right. We'll pop that. We'll pop that in the um, in the once we once we share this with everyone, we'll um. Okay, cool. She's popped the link there. All right. Awesome. Once we will share that with um, share that with everyone, and if they need to contact you for a little tutorial for themselves, so there we go. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was great. Thank you so much for coming on and um and joining us and doing that because that was. It was quite popular with the with the ladies. They um, yeah, had a few questions and really valid questions as well. So that's yeah. um, it's good to know because yeah, at least I always think at least there's more as well. <laughs> yes. No. Thank you very much for the invite. And yeah, I agree. That's that's why I think makeup is one of the things that some sometimes you don't bring it too much about it, but yeah. um, actually when you go out there, wow. The, yeah. You know, I hear so much, so many, so many questions and so many concerns that that's why I do what I do now. Good idea. What a great, great thing to do. <laughs> it's so good to know that you're out there. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you, Sarah. And thank you, um, you know, Rachel, for the in well, invite. That was, yeah. That was really interesting. Now, now I know I need to go shopping and um, I need to spend more time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I need to go shopping too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> makeup brushes <laughs> thank you so much i learned heaps yeah, uh, that's good. That's really good and we'll, um, we'll pop your details below and so let people know where they can find you and thanks so much again for coming on and sharing all that with us and uh, not a problem and maybe we'll get you back and you can talk about skincare next time as well that'd be really cool. <laughs> okay um i can give some tips but I, i'm not um a beautician, a skincare, yeah. no, on a specialist yeah. in that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's so, fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to do that too. Yeah, not a problem. Thank Ooh. you so much. We really appreciate that. Excellent. No problem. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye -bye. <laughs>